Liz, why does to read this book? Because it's snow. That's right, Ziggy. We heard that it might snow today, right? So let's show our friends. And Mrs. Hirschback has a fun snowflake craft for you today. Okay, and on, I think it's on Class Dojo you can view that. Okay, so this book is called Snow. Yeah. Roy McKee and P.D. Eastman. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with him. So maybe we will get snow and you can make a snowflake. So, snow. Can you say snow? Snow. S-N-O-W. Snow. 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 Come out in the snow. You want to go out in the snow? Mm-hmm. Yes. Me too. Snow. Snow. Just look at the snow. Come out. Come out. Out, come out in the snow. Of course, you want your friends to come out in the snow, right? Mm -hmm. I want to know if you like snow. Do you like it? You like it? Yeah. Do you like it? Yes or no? Oh, wow. Oh, yes, yes. I do like snow. Yeah. Yeah, of course we do. Do you like it in your face? You like snow in your face? Oh, this this little one does. Yes, I like it any place. I know, I know. You like snow on your face? Do you like snow on your face? Hmm, I bet some of you do and some of you don't. What is snow? We do not know, but snow is lots of fun. I know. Snow is lots of fun. Right? What makes it snow? We do not know, but snow is fun to dig and throw. When we get a lot, we have to help mommies and daddies shovel or just go out there and make it more difficult to shovel, right? <laughs> snow is good for me and you, for men and women and horses too. That's true, snow is good for everyone, I think. Snow is good. It makes you slide. It lets you give your dog a ride. Speaking of dogs, we hear our dogs, right? Snow is good for making tracks and making pictures with your back. Let's see. We go uphill. The snow is deep. We can't go fast. The hill is steep. We think our dog has gone to sleep. Some dogs like snow, and some dogs do not like snow, right? All but dogs then don't. we get up top at last, then we come down, and we like, come down All dogs fast. do not like it. Exactly. What is the opposite of fast? Slow. Mm. Right, exactly. Sometimes we put on long, long feet, and we walk up every hill we meet. Sure do with their skis. Downhill we fly, downhill we sail, our dog sails after on his tail. See that? What's that silly dog doing? Flying after them on the snow. What a silly thing to do. Are your feet too long for you? Are they? No. No? Come on, get up, get up on your way. We have a lot to do today. Especially when there's snow. We could be in the snow all day. So much to do. Building and forts and snowmen. Now, take some snow and make a ball. A lot of snowballs can make a wall. What shape is a snowball? A circle. Anyone? Circle. Yes, a circle. <laughs> okay. Put on more snowballs one by one. They're making a house, it looks like. Our house of snow will soon be done. A fun igloo. Wouldn't that be fun to make a snow house or a snow fort? Do you like bread? Do you like meat? Do you? No. Come in our house. Have something to eat. I do not like meat. <laughs> snow is lots of fun. All right, it gives you a big appetite. It really does. When you're out playing in the snow, you lose, you lose lots of energy and it makes you hungry. We're having a picnic in the snow. We had our bread, we had our meat. Some bread is left for birds to eat. Look at that. How fun, they're feeding the birds. Now make another ball of snow. Push it, push it, see it go. What a snowball, see it grow, see it grow and grow and grow. Uh-oh, what?
what is happening here? It's a big snowball. Better watch out for that. What is the opposite of it's big? It's long and dog. What's the opposite of big? Small. Exactly. What will we make? Let's make a man. Let's make the biggest man we can. And I hope you're noticing a lot of the rhyming words that I'm saying. You're flying. Well. I know. Man and can rhyme. There was lots of rhyming words here. You could go back and listen for all the words that rhyme. We will call our snowman Ned. But first, Mrs. Rock is doing a call on the phone like we used to do. But we are calling him Ned. But first, we have to have a head. Snowman he has to have a head. Yes. We're putting it on top. His head will have to have a hat, right? What else will it have to have? His hat is on. Just look at that. Look at He's so big. He's Not so tall. He's the biggest man of all, right? I'm sorry, I hit the button. Button. That button. Okay, sorry, friends. I thought it stopped recording. So, he's the biggest man of all this snowman. Look at him. So, I wanted to double check. Okay, the sun, the sun. It came out fast. Oh, no. Do you think Ned will last? So there we hear fast and last, they rhyme. I don't know, it looks like he's what? Melting from the snow like Olaf did. Keep that sun away from Ned, that sun is going to go to his head. Oh no, they don't want Ned to melt. And now, all right, let's see, Ned and head rhyme as well. The biggest snowman of them all is now what? Very, very small. Remember, he was tall, which rhymes with small, and they are opposites. Oh, no. Can they rebuild them? The way that sun is coming down, there soon will be no snow in town. Take some, save it from the sun. Take all you can and run, run, run. So we have sun, S-U-N, and run, R-U-N, and they rhyme. They rhyme. Oh no, all their snow is melting. The snow out there will come and go, but snow will keep in here, we know. So we will put the snow away and play with it another day. Where are they putting the snow? In their what? No. But. Not the fridge, but the top compartment is the freezer to keep it cold, mm -hmm. right? I wonder if it will work for them. Think it'll work for them? I don't know. We'll have to see if they can keep it in there. Okay, <laughs> so there they are. That was it, we, about our book about snow. So there's lots of rhyming words in here, lots of opposites, and they made their snowman Ned, and the snow the melted him, but they saved their snow in the freezer for another day. So I don't know if it's gonna snow, but I do love snow, and I hope you do too. Bye. Hit it. Mm -hmm.